Hey everybody, what's going on here? So I'm sure you guys have all heard now that the, the Liberals have created a website called Pierre'sRecord.ca. 20 years of Pierre Paul Yev is enough. And you can tell this is a liberal created website with their terrible insults and their like this website is terrible generally speaking. But all the look, they use a clown emoji to insult Pierre Paul Yev. Oh man. Ouch, that's gotta hurt so bad. Pierre Polyev must be very, very upset with these kind of slanders right now. Please. Now, they basically came up with 20 points here why they say that Pierre Polyev needs to leave. And I believe you can even sign a petition after this, which is hilarious because a petition in this case does absolutely nothing. You can get a million, two million, five million names on it. It does nothing. But there's a few things. I'm not going to go over all 20 because, you know, it'd be a bit of a, a long video. We'd have to deep dive on everything. But there are a few points here that I do want to go over with you just because I am more well versed on them. I know they're not true. Whereas some other points that they said something where he said some crap back in, you know, the early 2000s and they play a short like you see on the sides here. They have like these little short clips, which I watched a couple of them and they're all just taken out of context completely. But a few of them can be pretty easily uh, exposed by almost anybody uh, who knows anything about politics. So the first thing here is. The, the one sorry the number one thing that people are going after him for for him saying he defined marriage as a union between a man and a woman and a woman to the exclusion of all others so basically what he's saying is that you know marriage should be between a man and a woman this was from 20 years ago okay so back then not a lot of people were even talking about gay marriage or or would, would accept it it was a different time by the way liberals your beloved Joe Biden said that four years after Pierre Polya when he was vice president. So, I mean, I know Joe Biden's he's gone in January, but how come you're not calling out him for saying stuff like that? Why is there a double standard? Liberals or Democrats are allowed to say it, but when conservatives say it, it's like, oh, he's anti-gay. Like, it's just unbelievable. And again, like that that's what you got? Something from 20 years ago? Someone's getting desperate. And then we have the number three point here, received a government pension at 31, then raised the retirement age on hardworking Canadians. When did he do that? Because the last time I checked, the prime minister before Justin Trudeau was Stephen Harper. And Pierre Polyev was the housing minister. He received, or sorry, he raised the retirement age? Come again, liberals. That's another miss. And then they talk with visited and courted far right extremist groups. Um, again, very vague clips where they just played a little bit of him walking into a trailer. And apparently the people are a far right extremist group. I don't know anything about that, so I'm not going to get into that. Um, and the number six here says committed to free votes, allowing his MPs to bring forward anti abortion legislation. Now, for the most part, Canadian conservatives are not against abortion. Pierre Polyev, what a terrible move. What he did is he allowed his own MPs to come up with bills that they would like. And yes, there are a couple conservatives who would like to change the abortion laws. Pierre Polyev, Melissa Lantzman, Dr. Leslie Lewis, amongst others, have said they are not going to bring forward any bills to change abortion. So again, this is just another smear job. It's just it's just a bunch of horseshit to try to get people to, to hate him. And it's not working. And I'm pretty sure the polls came out today. We'll have a quick look at that, too, and see if it's changed anything, because this website's been out for a little bit. Uh, number seven, turned his back on Ukraine. Really? Turned his back on Ukraine how? You're the ones giving him money, Trudeau. And considering you're spending all that money on a foreign country for a foreign proxy war so that military con uh, uh, contra contractors can profit from, aren't you turning your back on Canada? Absolutely, you're turning your back on Canada, and most agree, uh, Canadians would agree with me. So he turned his back on another country. Oh, man, the guy wants to put Canada first. What an asshole. Uh, that's your job, stupid. It's just... <laughs> these these are hilarious. Oh, and my favorite, number eight, pushed anti-vaccine agenda. You know what he actually pushed? Was for people to have the choice. Remember that, liberals? You hypocrite frauds. My body, my choice. Then all of a sudden COVID comes around and oh, never mind. And now COVID is, well, I guess it's still around. 
but now that the pandemic part of COVID is over, now you're back to my body, my choice again. But for three years, you kind of flip-flopped on that though, didn't you? And because Pierre Polyev wanted you to have the choice, this is now considered anti-vaccine. Anybody who believes any of this nonsense is a complete fucking idiot. I mean, there's just no nice way to say it. If you're one of the 8,000 people who pushed the clown emoji for to rate these, because apparently they're rating them from 1 to 20, uh, depending on how many clown votes they get, look at how many dumb people there are. Now, 8,000 people in all of Canada, that's not that many. It's like a, a small ride. They get more votes in, in a riding in Toronto than there are people who, in all of Canada who are visiting and participating in this. But that being said, there's still thousands and thousands and thousands of absolute morons in this country. And there's probably more, too. Some people probably don't even know about this website. But it's just absolutely ridiculous. Pushed if an anti-vaccine agenda. Having a choice is now anti-something. That's somehow also going to backfire on liberals in many other ways, I have a feeling. Use misogynistic YouTube tags to court far-right supporters. I believe what they're talking about here is the MGGAO, which is like men going their own way. Now, I'll be honest with you. Probably about a couple years ago, all that shit started to kind of come up on my feed too. And I was like, what is this? Like, what is MGTOW? I'm like, I've never heard of this before. So I start clicking on some of the videos. <clears throat> and what it is, or well, at least what I saw, it's disgruntled men who have made very poor choices in their past about who they decided to date, got burned, and now they think that all women are like this. And they're going their own way and they're not dating anymore. Some of the things that they say are misogynistic for sure. She's not really, you know, your girl. She's just a slut. She's everyone's girl. It's like, listen, man. I know this really, uh, this podcast isn't really about dating, but let me just give you some advice. I've had situations before in my life where I made very poor choices on who I dated. And then I let them hurt me. They kept doing it. They kept getting away with it. And I was very upset with them and started to almost feel a little bit like that. Like, oh, these girls are just all the same. And then I realized something very important. It was my fault. And all of a sudden, it was like this burden was lifted where I just, I just took a little bit of accountability. And I thought to myself, you know, <clears throat> it wasn't right when she cheated or when she said this or did this. But I let it happen because I didn't break up with her. That's my fault. So a lot of these guys, what they need to do, they just need to take a little bit of accountability and they need to learn how to vet people f before they date them. You just, you got to make sure you're dating a good woman. Ask a lot of tough questions. I know that may seem awkward, especially at first, but get it done quickly. You don't want to fall in love with someone then find out all their dark past or that they have a really dark past and potentially a dark future or that they're not as nice as you think they are six months into a relationship. Find out right away. Do as much. I mean, of course, some things take longer to find out than others but just do your best to vet people before you get into a serious relationship with them and then that way if it doesn't work out it's okay here's what happened that's her fault here's what happened that's my fault you take accountability and you move on you're gonna get over it way quicker i'm telling you there's no need to be bitter and you know potentially misogynistic about women just because you've selected bad women to date women do this too for sure all men are trash and then they go out and they all they do is they date the bad boy and then when the bad boy does bad boy shit they're all shocked and it's like you need to do a better job of vetting and you need to do a better job of you know <laughs> you're selecting partners both men and women do it now again just because you're a little bit upset about a relationship that you just got out of does not necessarily mean you're misogynistic and for them to say, we use misogynist YouTube tags for far right supporters, man, I know a lot of people who are on the left who feel that way. Men going their own way is not specifically a right winger thing, trust me, or at least from what I saw. Uh, and the last one I want to talk about here is he supported illegal convoy blockades. Are they not blocking off streets in Toronto right now um, with the pro-Palestine protests a few years ago here in hamilton blm had a protest and they blocked off king street for hours and they spray painted it was like defund the police or something all over king street so they blocked off a major road stopping ambulances fire trucks cops 
from getting to potentially where they need to go. Now they got to take another route. It's slower. They got to go down some side streets. There was not a word about that. There's not a word about what's happening right now in Toronto and in all kinds of other places. Protests are not illegal. Now, I know that there was at the end of the pro or near, near the end of the, um, the freedom convoy, there was some people who were like blocking off roads and I wasn't supporting that. But they were talking about, I mean, you want to talk about illegal? They used the word illegal in this. Okay, let's talk about illegal here. Freezing bank accounts because they made a donation to someone who was attending a protest. And by the way, the federal court agrees with me if you don't. Just want to keep that in mind. So, yeah, I mean, like, we can just quickly go over here. I mean, delivered a speech to a group that claimed it was a myth that residential schools robbed Indigenous children of their childhood. And again, you know, they got some older clip here and it's, they're all YouTube shorts, right? So they're like, how can you explain that he's done all these things properly in 60 seconds? They just use it to take things out of context, right? Like encourage Canadians to opt out of inflation with volatile cryptocurrencies. Well, there's a lot of politicians who like cryptocurrencies. I don't know whether they're good or not. I have a bad feeling about them, but I, I am not well versed enough on crypto to talk about that. So, and I don't think they are either. Make it harder for Canadians to vote. How? He's never been prime minister. He's been the housing minister, and he's the leader of the official opposition. He has never had the power to do that. Pose with someone wearing a straight pride shirt. Oh, no. Somebody wore something that they like on a t-shirt and stood beside a guy and took a picture. Oh, no. Like, they're just so desperate. Like, this is such a reach. It's fucking insane. Promoted a kneecap ban. I'm not sure what that is. Talked down pandemic supports that helped millions of Canadians pay their bills during the crisis. As the Liberals took away all these small businesses and made people uh, go from the middle class to either the lower middle class or poor because they lost everything they had. You're right. It was the Liberals who handled it properly, for sure. Used the term tar baby in the House of Commons. So from this, I watched this one. And what he was talking about, he was talking about some you know, oil sands project, and he referred to that as a tar baby. But of course, if you watch this short, it just it doesn't mention that part of it. It's completely taken out of context to make it seem like he called someone's child a tar baby, and he wasn't. So the the racist liberals here are actually accusing Pierre Polyev of using that to talk about a baby of color when he wasn't even talking about a baby at all. Wow, guys. Wow, that's a reach. Called childcare a slush fund and tried to cut programs that support the middle class. You mean, you mean like uh, axe the tax? That would support the middle class. Getting rid of all these taxes that you're doing to tax us into poverty, basically. But this is what I mean. This is what the liberals, this is what it's come to for them. They're so desperate. It's very clear. I wish there was like a comment section. Like I would just love to troll these people, but either, either way, it's just, it, it's, it's funny, but it's also just really annoying. Cause there's, there's a lot of people who actually will believe this shit and then claim that they know a damn thing about politics. It's wild. It's crazy. It's typical of the liberals. Cause everything they do is crazy and wild and stupid and doesn't make any sense. Now, that being said, it's annoying, but that being said, it's also going to expose the liberals even further. But hey, if they want to make this bullshit website with their stupid smear campaign because they're desperate, they can go ahead and do that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Do you think that these criticisms are accurate or do you think they're just more liberal smears coming from Justin Trudeau and his team? Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with another video.